The Royal Danish Navy's Ivor Whitefeld class frigate, HDMS Ivor Whitefeld F-361, stands as a cornerstone of NATO's air defense capabilities, designed to counter a wide array of airborne threats in an increasingly complex global security environment. Commissioned in 2011, this flagship vessel is actively participating in NATO's premier live fire exercise at Formidable Shield 2025, held off the coast of Bodo, Norway, in May 2025. Hosted by the U.S. 6th Fleet and coordinated by Naval Striking and Support Forces NATO, ASD FS-25 is the largest integrated air and missile defense exercise in the European theater, involving 11 allied nations and testing interoperability against subsonic, supersonic, and ballistic missile threats. The Iverhutfeld's involvement underscores Denmark's commitment to collective defense and highlights the frigate's advanced air defense systems, which combine cutting-edge sensors, missile systems, and modular flexibility. However, operational challenges revealed during recent deployments, the 2024 Red Sea mission, provide critical context for evaluating the ship's capabilities and limitations. At the heart of the Iverhutfeld's air defense prowess are its radar and sensor suites, which provide exceptional situational awareness and targeting precision. The Thales Smart L radar, a long-range, the L-band, passive electronically scanned array system enables the frigate to detect and track airborne targets at extended ranges, making it ideal for early warning and surveillance. Complementing this is the Thales Active Phased Array Radar, an I-band multifunction radar shared with Dutch and German frigates. The APAR excels in precise target tracking, horizon search, and missile guidance, capable of managing up to 32 semi-active radar homing missiles simultaneously with 16 in the terminal guidance phase. These radars are integrated through the C-Flex Combat Management System, which processes real-time targeting data to coordinate engagements. During ASD FS-25, this sensor suite allows the Ivor Huitfeldt to track and prioritize complex threat scenarios, from drones to supersonic missiles, in coordination with NATO allies. The frigate's primary air defense weapons are housed in its Mark 41 and Mark 56 vertical launch systems, offering a layered defense against diverse threats. The Mark 56 VLS, the capacity for 24 RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, provides medium-range point defense, engaging aircraft, drones, and anti-ship missiles at ranges up to 50 kilometers. The Mark 41 VLS, with space for 32 SM-2 Block 3A missiles, extends the ship's reach to approximately 170 kilometers, enabling long-range area defense against high-altitude aircraft and missiles. This combination ensures the Ivor Huitfeldt can protect itself and allied assets across multiple threat envelopes. Additionally, the Mark 41 VLS is compatible with advanced munitions like the SM-6, though Denmark has not yet adopted these. During ASD FS-25, the frigate's missile systems are, are being tested in live-fire intercept drills, demonstrating their ability to execute kill chain operations in a joint NATO environment. Close-in defense is provided by the Orlikon Millennium 35mm naval gun system and two OTO Malara 76mm super rapid guns, upgraded in 2025 to the OTO 7662 super rapido model. The 35mm system serves as a last line of defense against drones, missiles, and small surface threats, while the 76mm guns engage both air and surface targets, including unmanned aerial systems. These upgrades were spurred by operational shortcomings during the Ivor Huitfeldt's 2024 Red Sea deployment, where approximately 50% of its 76mm shells detonated prematurely or missed targets. The new 76mm guns enhance counter-UAS capabilities, critical in modern naval warfare, where drones pose a growing threat. In ASD FS-25, these systems are likely being evaluated for their effectiveness in high-intensity scenarios involving multiple simultaneous targets. A defining feature of the Ivor Huitfeldt is its Stanflex Modular Mission Payload System, which includes four positions on the missile deck for interchangeable modules. This allows the frigate to adapt its configuration for air defense, anti-submarine warfare, or surface warfare. 
For air defense, additional Mark 56 VLS modules can increase ESSM capacity, while Mark 141 launchers can carry Harpoon anti-ship missiles to be replaced by naval strike missiles in 2025. This modularity enhances the ship's versatility in multi-domain operations, as demonstrated in ASD-FS-25, where it operates alongside NATO ships and aircraft in complex, multi-threat environments. The frigate also supports a medium-sized helicopter, such as the MH-60R Seahawk, which bolsters air surveillance and light engagement capabilities, as seen during its 2024 Red Sea mission. Despite its advanced systems, the Ivor Huitfeld has faced significant challenges that temper its operational reliability. During Operation Prosperity Guardian in the Red Sea in March 2024, the frigate successfully downed four Houthi drones but encountered critical failures. The ESSM system was inoperable for approximately 30 minutes due to integration issues between the APAR radar and CFLEX CMS and the 76mm ammunition failures highlighted deficiencies in munitions quality. These issues led to the ship's early withdrawal, the dismissal of Denmark's defense chief, and the frigate's inability to join a subsequent NATO mission. Investigations found no inherent flaws in the APAR radar, but CMS and missile system integration required urgent fixes. The 2025 gun upgrades address some of these concerns, but reports from March 2025 suggest that persistent CMS issues, APAR reliability concerns, and the high cost of a midlife update may lead to the Ivor Huitfeldt class being reassigned to a Baltic Sea Patrol role, with a new frigate class potentially replacing it for air defense duties. The Ivor Huitfeldt's participation in ASD FS-25 is a testament to its strategic importance and Denmark's commitment to NATO's collective defense. The exercise involving 11 nations and complex live-fire engagements tests the frigate's ability to operate under NATO's command and control architecture, ensuring interoperability with allies like the United States, United Kingdom, and Netherlands. By engaging subsonic, supersonic, and ballistic missile surrogates, the Ivor Huitfeldt demonstrates its role in countering evolving threats from state and non-state actors. Its advanced radar, missile, and gun systems, combined with modular flexibility, make it a formidable air defense platform, capable of protecting naval task groups and contributing to regional deterrence in the North Atlantic and Northern Europe. However, the 2024 Red Sea deployment serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the importance of system integration and munitions reliability. While the 2025 upgrades mitigate some issues, the proposed shift to a patrol role suggests that the Ivor Huitfeldt may not fully realize its potential as a primary air defense asset in the long term. For now, its performance in ASD FS-25 reinforces Denmark's investment in high-technology defense and NATO's cohesion, sending a clear message of readiness and interoperability. As the Royal Danish Navy navigates these challenges, the Ivor Huitfeldt remains a critical, if imperfect, pillar of NATO's air defense architecture, balancing cutting-edge capabilities with the realities of operational demands.